Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Bird Box Barcelona. BBB, baby. <laughs> so, I originally was really excited to see this. Um, Netflix, right? And um, it's a Netflix original, I believe, because they made Bird Box, the original movie with Sandra Bullock. And I just looked it up. I gave that an 8. Really enjoyed that film, so I was excited to see this one. Now, here's the catch. It's 5.3 on IMDb, 6,000. 514 people rated it so far, so it's a little bit lower than I was hoping for. And I was scrolling to see if I could see what I scored. I saw one review WTF did I just watch? That's kind of huh. Well, anyway, um, so the entity of mysterious origin annihilates the entire world and causing those who observe it to take their own lives. That's what was in the first one. So if you haven't seen the first one, that's what it's all about. Now, a guy named Sebastian and his daughter begin their own great adventure of survival in Barcelona, right? So, it's just like a a sequel to it, but all new cast. I didn't see um, Sandra Bullock in this or anything like that. Mario Cassis and Georgina Campbell, I don't know any of them, but um, we'll see. I, I'm still optimistic it's going to be good, but I get it how it might not be, because it's hard to make a sequel these days. So, let's see. It's an hour and 51 minutes. So, a little bit longer, but fingers crossed. Stick around. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Bird Box, Barcelona. No check-in. Um, and for actually a better reason than just trying to be concise. There's a lot, like, I wanted to check in really early and be like, man, um, like the first 20 minutes, like, hooked me because it wasn't what I was expecting and I was confused. I'm like, what is going on? Like, why is this happening? I can't get it, you know? Um, and then as you watch it, you figure it all out. It really becomes right after that, obviously. But I don't want to ruin that for you because that was part of it that I, I truly enjoyed was, it's not what IMDB is. And I'll do a piece at the end, maybe talk a little bit more openly about it. But um, it, it, it's, it, that if you read IMDB and you heard nothing else about it, you're going to be in the same seat I am, which is fantastic because that made me enjoy it better. And I went into this thinking, okay, a sequel for Bird Box. I did enjoy the first Bird Box. A sequel for Bird Box with no Sandra Bullock, right? Already knowing what it's all about, part of the intrigue of the first one was having no clue um, and, and seeing it all uh, evolve. Um, so it's like, eh. And, and the score being so low, is it like just, hey, they got couple more people doing the same thing they did in the first one. That's not the case, right? Uh, they did, a, I thought, a, a, a good job of, you know, it's not probably better than the first, but it is a pretty good sequel for what uh, they did there. They, they really, they surprised me, if you can't tell. It is in, I mean, it's, it's dubbed. Um, and I thought this was interesting as I watch it. And if you've seen um, Money Heist, is that what it's called? You know what I mean, right? Yeah, I think it's Money Heist, whatever. Or any other non-American speaking, you know, maybe it's in Spanish or something, and they dub it for Netflix, which is great. And I'm not criticizing, I'll take it. I feel like they use the same voice actors. Um, I was like, is that the professor? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that Arturo speaking? It's really sound, so I don't know what they do, but I'm not complaining, I just found that interesting. Or maybe they just it just all sounds the same. Uh, but yeah, it says it's in Spanish, so, but dubbed, which is fantastic. Uh, but that, that cracked me up. But anyway, with all that being said, um, I thought it was really, really great what they did. Um, there was parts where I was like, eh, I'm not as interested, but it was just, I kind of wanted to see where it was going. You know, there, there is, you know, action to it all. There's uh, suspense, you know, edge of your seat kind of stuff a lot as you can you know imagine with this type of movie and uh, I, I applaud them I also understand why the scores are low right and that I, I can't tell you why they're low but you know people score movies low for various reasons that that like I don't right for uh, other reasons like you know, like a bad acting or a bad plot or you know a disappointing movie that's why I score it low um, people will score it low if, you know, a couple of different things, you know what I mean? Like, uh, politics in a movie. If it takes one side or the other, people are going to maybe not like it so much. 
Um, you know, and those have, like, woke-type movies. I mean, some people don't like movies with a strong female lead, and they'll score it, you know, and based off of that. So there's all those kinds of things that, that I think that you shouldn't score a movie based on that, but everybody is entitled to their own opinions. But that's why I believe this movie, there's something in here that people might be like, eh, I'm going to score it low because of that. In my opinion, because it's not a 5.3. It is a 7 at the, you know, maybe an 8. But I also score, uh, you know, based on what I like about movies, too. So, all right. That's enough beating around the bush. I have to talk a little bit more openly, not giving in away any ending. I'm going to try and be as on the surface as possible. But I do want to tell you one thing. It's going to be, like, why I think people are scoring the movie low. Um, so, but I'm not. I, I'm, that's all I'm going to do. So, if you don't want to hear that, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Or if you're sticking around... A little warning. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Okay. The reason I think people score this movie low, in my opinion, is because it has to do with faith and religion. Um, which was another reason I enjoyed it. I thought that it's a risky move, as you can tell, from the producers and writers and everything like that. Um, but I thought it was well done in the fact that how they took this in a completely different direction. So... Um, you know, there are some holes, I think, throughout the movie, you know, but I'm not going to be nitpicky. I sat back and enjoyed it for, for what they tried to give us, and I thought that was a pretty neat thing on, on what they decided to do and the way they took it. Um, and that, that, you know, after the first 20 minutes, and it's like, what? You know what I mean? And we're supposed to like this guy. Um, so... That's it. That's all I got for you. I uh, just wanted to share that with you to help you out a little bit. If you, you were thinking about watching it, check it out. Maybe you still won't like it. Whatever. I enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed my review. All right. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.